H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Muted. I hope you can see my screen, right? So uh, let's log in again, and we will do a real re quick recap what we have seen yesterday, and then we'll finish the rest of the things. So yesterday, what we have seen is we have seen how to create the source structure from a file and when I already have a file uh, I, how I can import the structure of the file into my Informatica source that's one thing we have seen also we have seen how to create the target structure from scratch okay now today's agenda is we will try to map the source to target, we will move the data from source to target, okay? And we will see yeah, how the data looks like. So, so that is called your mapping, where you actually map the source to target. So you have to go to the mapping designer and go to mappings and you do create. So that's how you create a new mapping. Usually the naming convention for mapping is M underscore, then you can write anything. In, um, so let's say employees, employees underscore TGT underscore FF, okay? <laughs> FF stands for flat file. Now, so this is my mapping. If we look here, this is my mapping. Now what I'm doing is I need my source. I'll drag my, no, not this one, sorry. This is my source. I'll drag my source into the mapping. So as soon as I drag the source, right click and do iconic, so as soon as you drag the source, you will see there is a source and there is additional transformation which comes by default. This is called your source qualifier. FQ is, stands for source qualifier. That comes default with all sources, right? Uh, and this is a very, very important transformation. In my training, I ha I'll take a complete session on the source qualifier and how important it is, I'll show you. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I will drag and drop the, sorry, not this one, target. I'll drag and drop the target. So this is my target, right? This is my source, source qualifier and my target. Now what I'm gonna do is I have to add a transformation in between in to do the transformation, right? So there is a transformation called expression transformation. You go on the menu bar, you see transformations, click there, do create and do expression. And as you can write exp underscore, let's say emp, okay? Create. So this is your expression transformation. Now in the expression transformation, I if I look to my target, it, I can see I have to bring my source employee ID from my source and I will connect it directly to target. So employee ID is basically one on one mapped, right? One on one map means it's as it is, right? Whatever is coming from source, I'm loading it into my target. And let's look at the department ID. Department ID when a department ID is also one on one map, right? But if you look at my a full name, full name, I do not have a full name in my source. So full name is basically the concatenation of my first name and last name. So I'll bring my first name, I'll bring my last name into my expression transformation, but I cannot connect any of these to my target, right? Because these are either first name or last name. So what I have to do is I have to create another port which is called full name. So let's double click this. I'll create another port. Let's, and let's name it as full name <coughs> and I'll make it let's say string 18 no not string 18 I'll make it string 40 let me see the target here string 20 
Oh, okay, I'll just make it then string 20. I'll make it string 20. Okay, now what, one thing I wanna, want you to notice here is I, O and V. So I stands for input, O stands for output, and V stands for a variable. So we will not cover the variable in this free session, but we are going to cover the I and O. So I and O, if you look here, this is my employee ID. So employee ID should be I and O because I'm getting the input from the previous transformation and I'm passing the same information to the next transformation. So it's basically I and O. Same with your department ID. But if you look at my uh, first name and last name, this should be I, input port only. The reason being is, I will get the data from the previous transformation, but I will not pass the same data to my next transformation. Rather, I have another port which is my full name, that should be output port only, because I am not getting the full name information from my previous port, right? So if I do that, then you'll find the difference. So I, I made the full name as output and I made the in, uh, first name and last name as input ports only. So that way, so if you look here now, if you look here you don't see the small arrows in the first name and last name and you don't see a small arrow on the left side of the full name. The so full name is my output port, first name, last name is my input port only, right? Now as soon as you make the full name as output port, this expression, and uh, I don't, I don't know, so you see this uh, expression, not the window, but rather a workspace again, where you can write expressions. Uh, it, it, it pops up and then you can write actually, go to the ports and my first name, concatenation my last name okay so this is the expression for concatenating the string now what I want to do is I want to concatenate first name last name and but I want to put a space in between first name and last name so you can do space in single quotes and okay and this is how so this is basically tells me the concatenation of first name and then a space and the last name. Click OK, click Apply, OK, and then connect the full name to my full name. Then once this is done, then save it, Control S. So once you do this, your mapping is done. Any questions anyone before we go further? Anyone have any questions? how we have mapped employee ID, department ID, and full name. No questions? Okay. Then let's move. <coughs> okay. mm. Now, as I was telling you, this is your uh, designer, and you have done the design for, the, uh, for mapping the source to target. But, this is just the design. You are not dealing with any data. So if you are, if you compare this with the vacation plan, so you have done your plan, but you have not done any kind of booking. So so now what I have to do is I have to create a workflow, and then in the workflow I will tell Informatica from where to read the data. Where is my data file? where to read the data and where it will write the target files, okay? So you right click on the uh, employee, this mapping, and, you see, and the last option is to generate workflow. Then do next, 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 finish. Done. Once this is done, then you have to go to this window, which is your workflow manager. Okay, so this, 
So I think this one we have already deleted this one, this is the previous one. Okay. So this is the one which we created just now. So this is how your workflow looks like. A start and then uh, an arrow which is called a link and then your this is called your station. Okay. Double click the station and go to this mapping tab and you will find the source qualifier. In the source qualifier what I'm going to do is I'll tell Informatica where is my source file directory and where is my file. So my source file directory is C SRC files and source file name is employees.txt. For the target let's say we want to load the data into which directory? My target file directory is C TGT files. You can put any directory, but just to be organized, I'll put TGT files. And target file name, let's put employees.tgt underscore ff.txt. This is my target file name. And you see here header options. I will put yes, put the output field names as my header. Once done, click OK and then once click OK, save, Control S, save it. So now what you have done is you have provided all the information to Informatica telling that from where to read the data, how, how to read, he knows how to read the data, but where to read the data and where you will write the data. So you have provided those information. So right now we are dealing with the data file. Earlier in the designer we are doing only the design, only the structure. So now we are doing, dealing with actual file. Done. Once this is done we will move to the workflow monitor window. Okay. And let's go back to the workflow manager again and right click here and then do start workflow. Once you do the start workflow then go to the workflow monitor you can see the Informatica job is running. So double click this session and you can see here source target statistics. Okay. Here it will tell you how many records it has read from the source and then how many records it has finally loaded into the target. So it, ha it is telling me right now it has read 107 records from source and loaded 107, sorry, this is the source qualifier. So read 107 records from source and loaded 107 records in my target. Uh, now we will, in, in the actual training, we will go in details about the workflow monitor also. We will understand what are the other statistics. But this is the basic statistics. Now once that is done, what I want to do is I want to go back and check the actual file which is generated to do the data validation. Okay, so this is the file which is generated 112. Double click and let's see. Okay. If you look here, yes, I can see. You see the additional dot zeros because uh, it's it's uh, declared as decimal. That's why you see the additional dot zeros. But if you look at the full name, yes, it has concatenated the first name and last name. And because department ID is also defined as um, integer you see the additional zeros. So this is my final output file. Okay, any questions anyone about generating the file, running the file, uh, running the workflow, any questions? No, no questions? Um, then do you have any question about the training? Training part, do you have any question? A anyone in the class who have not received the received yesterday's video and day before yesterday's video and not received the course content? No? So I'm assuming that everyone has received the course content, complete course content and uh, have received the uh, videos also. 
so you will also receive today's video. Now let me uh, go into details about some of the training parts. Um, okay, I started getting questions. I'll uh, let me see the questions and I'll and answer one by one. Okay. Hold on for a minute. Okay, I see a question from Vivek. Just a question around how long the training is. Yeah, I'll come to that. So basically, I tell people that training is around 24 hours. I try to take around four to five hours in a week. So you can think about one and a half months of training. I usually take one hour class a day and four classes in a week. So that's why I told you four, to four hours to five hours in a week and uh, six weeks class. Answer the question, Vivek. Um, Bhaskar has a question, how does the job market compare to, okay, this is a good question. Actually, when you, you are tr uh, tracking a decision that which, what you want to learn and, and you decided that you want to learn some ETL tool, then the next question is which ETL tool is better. Now, right now I can tell you the uh, Informatica has the largest share market. It, it. So that what does that mean is, is most of the people in, in the market are using Informatica right now. SSIS, the problem with SSIS is basically it comes with the complete Microsoft package, which is SQL Server, SSIS, SSRS, and SSAS. So if someone, if, if there is a company which is a Microsoft shop, basically then they will use mostly the SSIS. But in general, no, people are using mostly Informatica. And the other good part is now Informatica has now the connectivity with cloud, connectivity with Hadoop, so it's more flexible now. Uh, Ramini has a question, in order to take this core class, do I need to know the database or computers very well? No. Oh, that's a good question. The database is basic database concepts is required and, and the good part is I usually take the database my first class would be the basic database concepts and SQLs and I will tell you how to practice SQL I will give you some handouts uh, which you can practice for SQL and you can ask me questions in the regular class even the SQL and we don't need SQL at the very beginning of the class maybe we need SQL I would say after three weeks so you have three weeks to learn SQL. But complex SQL is not required at all. Basic SQL is required. Um, Vivek has another question. Yeah, Vivek, I'll, I'll unmute you. Just hold on for a minute. Let me answer the questions in the chat window and I'll unmute you. Uh, Swapna has a question. Uh, do we need to know any, pro no, 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 you don't have to know any programming language. Absolutely no. So I hope by now you have understand and how easy is this tool. It's basically drag and drop. Uh, the only thing you have to know is the concepts. What what transformation then, uh, should be used for what purpose. That is important. If you know that, then it's very easy for you to uh, implement any mapping. No, no, no Java, no Python. Absolutely no. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Vivek, on, I will unmute you, hold on for a minute. Yes, Vivek, you can speak. Okay. Um, hi, Shogun. You can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, I have a mainframe background, in, uh, you know, okay. 27 years here. Uh, uh -huh. I have uh, trained in Informatica four or five years ago. I've, I've done some basic stuff, and I'm, you know, looking at your course content, and it looks very ambitious to do in 26 hours or 24 hours. Am I missing something? I mean, uh, no, no, no. Okay, so, so, uh, it's that, that's what I told yesterday. So don't go by hours. Okay, so usually I say 26 hours, 24 to 26 hours. But if required, I can extend. So don't worry. Whatever is there, we will cover. Okay, and if I, you know, uh, like you said, you give exercises and uh, hands-on work, and I work uh -huh. on it during the day, and if I'm stuck and I'm taking longer, 
you are there, you will help me, correct? Uh, in the daytime, you mean? No, not necessarily in the daytime, but whenever you have the time. <laughs> no, so this is how, how it works. So at daytime, I'm, daytime, I cannot help anyone, okay? So uh, the expectation is if you have a class, so let's say I have a class today, I gave you some assignments, you tried today night and tomorrow morning, and I have another class tomorrow evening, so expectation is you come up with your questions in tomorrow evening class. But let's say I have a next class after three days. So in that case, you send me email with your question. Okay. Okay. You got it? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I see someone else. Has a, okay, functions, yeah. We have a lot of functions here. That is a good question. If you look here, we have a lot of functions also here uh, in the in Informatica comes up with all functions, huge number of functions. If you see here, a lot of functions are there. But the good part is you do not have to, to memorize or have to know each and every function. I'm going to give you a document where you have all the functions as, as very well to explain with examples. That document would be your reference document. Whenever I give you assignments, whenever you try to do anything, when you go into the actual project, keep the document as a reference one so that you stuck with functions, you go there and see how, uh, what functions work how. Answer to your question? Swapna? Uh, hold on, I got a few more questions. Uh, Bhaskar has a question, how easy or hard to get a job after training? Okay, this is a very, uh, a very open-ended question, I would say, uh, because there are a lot of different factors. Uh, are you open to relocate? That's a major factor. If you are open to relocate, you get the job very soon. Again, and uh, by when you are ready. So let's say you take the training now, uh, and the training would be done by mid-February. And that's a good time to get a job. So if you are ready immediately after the training, yes, you will get a job soon. But let's say you take another two months, three months for the preparation, and you say, come back and say, hey, uh, I'm ready now, maybe that is a slow time. In June, July is a little slow time. So it depends a lot of different factors, but one of the major factors is are you willing to relocate? If you are willing to relocate for any technology, you will get a job very fast. If you are not willing to relocate, then, then you have to wait for the openings coming up. But the good part of Informatica is usually I have seen a decent amount of openings uh, remains there throughout the year. Answer your question? Okay. Uh, one other thing I want to tell you is once this course is done, uh, what I do is uh, it's not like once your course is done, you are off your own. No. What I do is once the course is done, I help, help my students to prepare the resume. Now, the resume preparation is uh, more of a one-on-one -on -one session. So when you say that, okay, I'm ready, I want to work on your resume, then we work one-on-one -on -one and we, I try to uh, work on your resume to make it marketable. And after that, if you want help in my getting a job, I help in that one also. So um, it's, a, it's kind of end-to-end -end product. Any questions, anyone else? Okay, uh, if you do not have a question, um, then I will just end the session today. I think um, I have provided you enough information about the training and these three e sessions have give you some idea about the tool so that <laughs> you know uh, um, like you can decide whether you like this tool or you don't like this tool right uh, I have another I got another question hold on
Uh, Swapna has a question. How many documentations after developing the mapping ex expression etc.? Uh, I didn't get your question, Swapna. You mean how many documents I will be uh, providing you? I will provide you two. Uh, I will actually provide you few, quite a few documents based on different and subjects like you, uh, I will be providing you documents on the data modeling, uh, I'll be providing documents on the uh, data warehousing document on the, these are the documents prepared by me, uh, then and I'll be providing document on the Linux, uh, sorry Unix shell scripting, I'll be providing document on the uh, functions but that is not, uh, that is not created by me and I'll be providing you documents on that transformations which is the main, another main document. So you will get enough uh, document, don't worry about the document, just uh, make sure that you read them, okay? Let I see some of the other questions. Oh, okay. I got an regarding uh, question. The, does ETL developer create document? Yes, actually, for some some uh, some companies, ETL developer creates document. For some companies, no. Uh, so ETL create ETL developer creates two documents. One is unit test cases they have to create, and another one is your. Sometimes companies does that. Um, they call it as detailed development document or something where you have to. Uh, give the information about the mapping, or what you have done in the mapping. You have to take the screenshot uh, of the mappings and the transformations and what each transformation is doing. So, but that is, many companies are not doing that now nowadays because that is too much documentation. Uh, Kalyan has, <coughs> has a question, ETL testing part also covered, yes absolutely, this ETL testing is covered in this course. So as I was telling him yesterday or day before yesterday that every time I, I I cover any topic I tell that okay until this much is for testers and going forward is for developers. So you will see a very clear line between what is, is what testers should know and what developers should know throughout the training. Any other question for me? Okay, Kalyan, this is nothing uh, like ETL. I will not take ETL testing as separate. Uh, I, I, I believe uh, have you, if you have not you, uh, attended my first class, as ETL testing, uh, yeah, so e what, what happens every day, eh, what I cover is a part of ETL testing, part of the developer, the development. So uh, it's not that I will, once the development is done, I will say, okay, now we'll start ETL testing, no. Every day we'll cover part of ETL testing, part of development. Because just, just for example, <clears throat> whatever we have seen until these three classes, everything is required for uh, both developer and tester. Got it? Kalyan, does that answer your question? Okay. Okay, uh, any other question, anyone? No? Okay, then 